Okay, um, this is what I'm going to show you how to make today. Um, these are called yo yo. What you're going to do is you're going to cut out a piece of fabric. You're going to make a circle. It does not have to be perfect. Um, you could use, you know, you could use a bowl, trace a bowl, opening, um, any circular pattern um, you can use to trace. But honestly, I just cut this out. I didn't even trace it, and it doesn't have to be perfect because um, when you when you pull on it, it it'll um, it will be exactly how you want it to be without it being perfect. And what you're going to do is you're just going to tie a knot at the end of your thread. Double knot it so it doesn't come through the fabric. Make sure your um, the piece of your make sure your thread is long because you have to go all the way around and um, you don't want to go all the way around and then not have enough thread so uh, make sure you have enough thread cut the end off close to the knot and then how you're going to start is you're just going to start on the wrong side of the fabric going up so this is the right side and you're just going to go up like this and you're going to be about um, maybe an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch from the edge and then every I'd say every quarter inch, um, or even half inch, it doesn't matter, um, you're going to go and you're going to go back down. So you're just going to go up and down, up and down, all the way around. Okay, just so you can see. So you go up through the bottom and then down through the top. Up through the bottom, down through the top, all the way around. Okay, um, I just want to show you I went all the way around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to end going through the right side of the fabric. So it's at the wrong side. So my needle is through, um, through this way. Okay, and then you're just going to put it on your surface, on your table or whatever you're working with. And you're just going to very gently pull your string kind of work it all the way around don't pull too hard you don't want to <laughs> break your thread after all that work and then um, you know you kind of you have to move it around a little bit to get your circle okay but See, now you have your yo-yo. Okay. Now, to make it, to make it um, a little bit neater, you put a button on, and that just covers up all the frayed edges, the middle part. So you put your button on. And actually, um, you want to um, put the needle back down to the other side. So then you can start your button the other way. So I'll show you. So you put your button on, okay, over the frayed edges. And then now your um, needle is under here. And then the first pass through is going to be from the bottom. And then back down. And then you can just kind of move your button around as you're sewing it on to make sure it's over the, um, the frayed edges. And then back through the top. Ouch. <laughs> Try not to poke yourself. And then I do this um, in and out, in and out, um, probably maybe like six times just to make sure it's on there securely. And then, you know, you can kind of have to manipulate it a little bit to make sure that it's um, covering the edges. Okay, and then you're going to end going down. 
So you have your button, and then you're just going to tie a knot to make sure it's secure. I usually do a double, double knot here. And then you cut the excess thread. Okay, so to attach um, your yo-yo to your hair clip, you need to get a hot glue gun. And you just put a little bit. Oh, it's a little too much, but. Glue there. Put a little dot inside where you um, squeeze, and then all along the top. Okay, and then this extra at the end, don't worry about that till the end. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your yo-yo. You're going to put glue right in the middle of your clip and then you're just going to stick it right on top, kind of on where the, um, the thread is for when you sew the button on. Okay, and then now it's on there temporarily enough so you can sew it on. Okay, so I tried to go through the bottom, but I couldn't get it, so I just went through the top, and you can't see the knot or anything, so um, whatever ends up working best for you is fine. Okay, and then come back up through the top. Back down through the bottom, and then um, you can go up and down maybe like four times until it feels secure. Okay. Just go down one more time. Um, I think the problem I was having is my, my needle's too small, so um, it might be a good idea to use a bigger needle. Okay, so um, what you're going to do is you're just going to knot it here. And to do that, you kind of have to open the clip and then find the string that, um, you know, you were working with. And then just make a knot. And um, I do a double knot just to make sure it stays on there good. Okay, and then you cut your extra. And then use, um, this is fray check. So you put a little fray check on the end of the, of each side of the ribbon so it doesn't fray. And then you just put a little bit more glue. And you fold this over. That stays, and then you can just any um, if you have excess glue, you can just pick it off. And then um, at the very end, what you're going to do is you're just going to take your glue gun and put a little drop of glue on that the thread where you are um, connecting it to the hair clip, and then that'll secure the thread. I mean, it's already secured with a knot, but just to double secure it. And then you let it dry, and then you have a hair clip.